Hello and welcome to my Blender to Unity Tower Defense game tutorial and in this final part we will look at how we create a click to upgrade menu on the turret system. So let's get started. So first of all let me start by saying you may have noticed I said this last part here and this will be the last part for this Splendid Unity Tower Defense game tutorial. I've come to the end of I think the things I really wanted to show in this tutorial. I could pull it all together and make a finalized game but I never really intended it for it to be a production ready game. It was more of a uh, an education for myself and something that I wanted to share with people as I went along to show my working. I am therefore going to stop, you know, I stop on high, you might say. I actually have had all sorts of issues getting this working, and I still don't have it working fully. So I would um, ask that if there's anybody out there that wants to take this on, I'll, I'll show you the issue that I have at the end, and you can uh, maybe try and try and fix that. And then we will will close this one down. The good news is I have absolutely no intention of continuing doing to do Unity videos and Blender videos so I'm going to start a new one up very very shortly it's going to be called a game jam and I'm sort of you know uh, making up my own little set of rules I'm going to create a, uh, a game and I'm going to give myself 24 hours I'm going to be streaming this live daily I'm going to spend an hour on it every day I'm going to have some rules around you know tinker time and just sort of general set up and stuff like that and I'm hoping that people can come along and, and watch me uh, and comment as I as I do my coding so keep keep an eye on that subscribe and I will uh, and I will let you know uh, what's going to happen with that but let's just get through uh, how I managed to create that turret menu system the actual menu system itself is very easy and I'm not going to go into huge amounts of detail about how you create panels and stuff again there are uh, plenty of tutorials on the internet for that but let's have a quick look I've only actually added it to the machine gun turret let's quickly drag that in and if I uh, click down here what I've done is I've added a new canvas a turret upgrade menu and uh, um, under there I've, I've set this canvas to be a world space canvas if I go to the scene view hopefully it'll be kind to me just press F there is it disabled at the moment no it's not so why can't I see anything on it I don't know I don't know why it's not showing anything let's just see if I can panel come on it's not showing any of the buttons or anything. I don't know why it's not doing that. Oh, yes, I do. Excuse me, I know exactly why it's doing that. I'll come back to this shortly. Um, let's spin that around so you can see this here. I, so what I did was actually I created a panel, and then um, under that panel, uh, sorry, this one here, I created a, a panel, and then I created a, another panel, which is the border, which is this red border here. And then, uh, you know, and then inside that I created another panel, which is the, the if you like, it's the pink one here, and then some buttons. Um, underneath those. All right, now these buttons don't do anything right now and again I'm, I'm not going to take that any further because there's plenty out there. What I think I might do guys is just you know put some links down to how you might want to implement this um, you know and some tutorials to, to how to do that because this is all pretty straightforward and I don't want to be you know reiterating what's already been soaked on YouTube. Uh, so there we go so that I added this in I, I, I sized it correctly I, I put all of these little anchors in here the problem that I had was I wanted to be able to create it so that you could click on the turret and it would uh, bring this menu up. Now, one thing I couldn't do was just have this as disabled, like so, and then click on it and make it enabled. Because if it's disabled, you can't click on it. There's no, there's no listener, if you like. The other problem, and I think this was a mistake on my behalf, was when I created this machine gun here, I created a collider for it. Now, what I was thinking was that what you would, could do is capture the, the click on this collider. Um, but the problem with that is that if there's two turrets close together, they're going to you're going to be hitting both colliders, and I and I knew that that was going to be a massive issue. So what I did was I created a. Um, let me just bring back the um, turret upgrade menu. I added one of these things called a canvas group. And this is something I hadn't seen before, and it took me a lot. This is why this video has taken so long, so my apologies. And it allows you to um, set the alpha for any of the UI elements that sit underneath it. So I could actually set that to back down and then back up. Do you see this? So as I go down and I go up. And that allowed me to add another um, collider here, All right, a separate box collider. Uh, which if I just show you, is, I, I've sized around the, actually let's quickly disable that again, um, where's the box collider gone, there, I've, I've kind of sized it close to the size of the uh, turret, I haven't used the entire base, I thought you know, you, people wouldn't click on the base, would they, they'd click on the turret itself, 
And so now we have a way with this is trigger to capture any clicks uh, if we do a raycast. If we do uh, an on click, this this first collider is going to actually uh, hide it, sort of you know, sort of cover it over. So because this is another problem that I had was actually clicking it. It's, even if you click, sorry, do that again. Even if you click uh, here or whatever or here, the the the, the, the larger sphere collider actually blocks it and that was oh, it's driving me mad guys I can't tell you how much pain I suffered with this so what I did was I added a um, a script to the game manager called mouse click handler here so let's have a quick look at that now let me get that loaded up mouse click handler I'll, mouse click handler where are you there you are right, I'll get this loaded and come back okay here is this here's the script that I updated uh, the mouse click handler. It's fairly uh, <laughs> well indented, but let's go through it. It's not too difficult. Some of you may remember from the uh, drag and drop tutorial that we did that I, I, I basically grabbed this here to say where we're clicking, get a list of the things that we're hitting along this ray cast. Now, a ray cast, if you like, is a is a um, is a ray that points from one point to another point uh, along a certain distance, and it will return anything that it hits. The lower that you, I guess, that you set this value here, will uh, suggest it will define how far it looks, and I guess could could improve performance. Fifty is fifty units, which is more than enough. I've just kept it at that because I could not see any uh, degradation in performance by clicking around. So I've kept it at fifty for now. You may want to fiddle with that if you want to. Okay, so what this script does is it's saying, well, if the input dot get mouse down zero, as in that that means left click. So if you're left clicking, uh, go ahead and find what you have clicked on. So point from your mouse all the way through, keep going 50 units and see what you've come back with. Okay, this returns an array of possible um, raycast hits. So we can do our little check here to say if hits is not equal to null and hits dot length is greater than zero. Uh, that this bit here I think is is not required because hits dot length hits always comes back with something. Uh, it never returns null. At least it hasn't for me yet, so I, I could actually just remove that. But I like to do that; just one of those little cautious things. So then we say, um, get all of those uh, uh, hits that you found, okay? And because, by the way, this, this what this does is it hits these things, so it hits these colliders, all right? Objects that have a collider attached to them. And what we say is, canvas group, uh, the specific hit, the collider, that game object that's um, that that collider is for get component canvas group that's canvas group now I should quickly spin back here I can show you here we've got this canvas group this is what I was talking about this is the thing you can set to zero or one let's just re-enable that there if I go back over here you've got this canvas group and I can set the the alpha to zero or one now it hopefully you can see that this isn't always going to return a canvas group because not many game objects are going to have this in fact you know the sphere collider here doesn't have it the um, the aliens won't have it, and that's good because what we what we're actually saying is, um, if the canvas group is not equal to null, as in it has it's found it, right? This component has actually worked. Then set the alpha to one, as in make it visible. All right. So let's just run that. <laughs> let's let's just get rid of it. Let's just let's actually drag one on, shall we? I'll, I'll click apply on there uh, and delete it. How many times? I'd be interested to know how many times people have not clicked apply and then deleted it. I think it does give you a warning, doesn't it? Let's just have a quick play. I'm, I'm messing around because this video is quite short anyway. Uh, machine gun turret. Let's make a change to it. Let's change its. Let's change the canvas group to 0.5. All right, and then we will just now we'll delete it. It hasn't done anything. It hasn't. It hasn't uh, told me there's an error. Let's just drag it back in. Let's um, let's add a. I don't know, a canvas scaler, something like that. I don't know, I'm just making it up as we go along. There we go. Um, I'm going to control Z that because it added a few things. Let's add a, let's just add something like a script to it. Sorry, I am really messing around now. Forward, this is a good one. This makes it move forward. Right? Now let's just delete it. It doesn't tell you, does it? Now this is as expected. So it's not, and now I've lost all of my work. So try and remember to click apply if you're, if you're adjusting your prefabs. Uh, before you delete them. Okay, if we drag this on, and I click it, up it pops. Fabulous. And that's where I got stuck.
and this is where I'd like to hand it over to you to maybe see if you can work out how to fix it. The problem that I have, there's one other thing I did guys that I should tell you, there's one other thing I forgot to mention and that is that I also, under the um, machine gun turret, I added a the turret upgrade menu, there's a script here called make UI face camera and this is a very simple script again you may have seen this remember this from the time that we made the health bars on the aliens face forward um, this isn't so different it just does this it just says transform dot look at well it goes and gets the main camera this makes me laugh this statement <laughs> main camera equals camera dot main something amuses me about that I'm not sure what um, and it just says look at this position this is something I snatched off the internet uh, and like I say I will I will be uploading all of this to git and uh, github and um, putting a unity package so you guys can can take a look at that so that that is something that I ran as well just to make sure that this thing always faces the front no matter where uh, you're positioned at the moment we don't have any rotation on this scene so it's not you know we could potentially position it and then just leave it but I think you know if we're going to rotate it then we want that always facing forward so let's just delete that again and I will click drag and drop and click on here and I hit a problem the problem that I ha I'm hitting is that this these buttons aren't working and I don't know why I have been playing around with various things maybe it was the canvas group maybe it's the um, let's just bring my prefab oh no 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 don't do it what happens if you bring the prefabs in? No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Prefabs, machine gun turrets. Let's drag that in. I've tried various things. I've tried disabling this. I've tried. Um, well, let's just try it. Let me show you. I'll just show you now. I'll just click it. Disable that. It doesn't let me click them. These should be. These should be changing color to at least show that they're being clicked and they're not. I've been playing around you know, on the on the button listeners and stuff, and nothing is making it work. So, guys, please have a play around. See if you can uh, figure out how to fix that. But for now, I'm actually going to call this completed. I know you might think, well, hang on, he hasn't really finished that. And I haven't really finished it because there's a whole bunch of things I could have done extra, which includes attaching the credits to those turrets so that when you click upgrade, it would um, uh, re reduce the credits and um, you know set the uh, turrets damage per second to be much higher and so on and so on. But I think that you guys have enough skills now to be able to actually take that away and do that yourself. Uh, loading levels is something that you know um, is already covered by a, a great Unity tutorial that I will um, I'll put a link to in the comments. It's a, it's a lengthy tutorial, something I don't think that needs to be repeated, alongside with menus and stuff like that again, which I could spend hours going through, but I don't think is required. So I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this. I'll, I'll kind of give myself a disclaimer here. I hope you guys don't feel let down. If you do, please comment and I'll 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 may, maybe if there's enough. Um, demand I will create additional videos for this but for now I'm actually going to close this project down I've really enjoyed it I've learned so much from it from doing it and I, and you know I can tackle another project now with all these you know all this of all this knowledge that I've gained it's it certainly taught me some lessons about how you should you know how you should do things as well it's very much worth just going through playing with this stuff before you even think about writing a, you know, a real game you need to you know get get your hands dirty understand what it is that you need to do um, and then and then perhaps get yourself a project plan so I'm gonna shut up now because I've been babbling on and not talking anything about unity or blender or uh, substance painter so I will leave you there please like comment and subscribe and I will very shortly be sending out details of my game jam uh, what I'm gonna be doing uh, it should be a real scream I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the pressure and I hope to speak to you soon thank you very much Goodbye.